Hi YouTube. I'm going to call this more food from trash. Did you know that you can grow carrot tops? After you cut the top off the carrot, you simply put it in a little dish of water and the tops will start to grow. I used to do this as a kid. can't remember if my mother taught me or if we did it in school. But they will grow and they are edible and you can use it just like you would parsley. You can sprinkle it on salads or what have you and um, even cook with it, although it doesn't have a very strong flavor. It's kind of like parsley. It's in the same family. You just have to change your water fairly regularly every day and um, you should grow some nice little green tops. Now because I knew about that, I had someone brought me some turnips the other day and one was sprouting a bit and I thought, gee, I wonder if you can do it with turnips. So I have started this one, which seems to be going wonderfully well. Um, I imagine they can also be used in salads also or cooked. I don't think you're going to get a whole lot from them, but, you know, why not? If nothing else, your little furry critters might enjoy it. Hi, YouTube. I'm going to do the rest of this video focused on the hawk outside my window. I hope you can see him. If I try to zoom in too closely, it just gets the screen instead of what's outside. So maybe if he moves around, you can see him. He's looking for tasty squirrels. Anyway, um, back to food from trash. Another thing you can do is if you have fruit that's going bad, or vegetables for that matter, you can dehydrate them quickly before they go bad. Um, in particular, I like to do this with apples. Apples that are getting a little past prime for eating, once dehydrated, are actually quite good again. Um, they're very tasty as little apple treats, and my family goes through them like nuts. Um, and keep in mind, if you're dehydrating vegetables or fruit, such as apples or carrots that have skins, if you have peeled them, those skins can be dried and saved as treats for your little furry animals. And if you um, are a braver person, as am I, you could also take those bits and make them smaller bits and use them in baked goods and soups and stews and no one will ever know the difference. Another thing you can do with peels is if you take citrus peel and grate it, not only can you dry it and save it just in the grated form, but you can add it to sugar and have flavored sugars. So you could put some lemon peel in about a cup of sugar and have lemon flavored sugar. That can be used for baking or making lemonade or what have you. You can also do that with a vanilla bean. I personally don't use vanilla beans, but if you did, once you scrape out the inside of the vanilla bean, which is what you use, you're left with the outside pod. You could put that pod into sugar and now you have vanilla sugar. Another use for the dehydrator is taking crackers or chips that are stale that you normally would not want to eat and you can put them in the dehydrator for a couple of hours and crisp them back up. I was surprised when I tried this that they were every bit as good as before they had gone stale. Now with chips, if they've gone rancid, that's a whole nother thing and they will not taste good, dried or not. For those of you who do not have a dehydrator, you could simply put the chips or crackers in a low oven. I don't know how long you'd have to leave it there because I've never done that, but I suspect not very long. You could also use the oven to dry fruit or um, fruit peels. You would simply put them on a rack in the oven, cookie sheet, then a rack in the oven, and just leave your door open so that the light is on and nothing else, no heat, and they will dehydrate. 
You could also string them and hang them in front of the fire, and that's the old-fashioned way. So I hope these tips were helpful, and if you have any tips of your own, I think it would be great if you would put them in the comments section below. And just a quick update, I'm, I still am using my homemade laundry soap, and I still love it. So take good care, folks. Bye now. Hi, YouTube. I just wanted to show you real quickly. These are the apples that I dehydrated. There were three apples that were going bad. They were kind of mushy, and nobody wanted to eat them anymore. So once they're dried, they make these really yummy chips. And I told you about drying the peels. This is the peel, and you can hear and see that it's real crunchy and dry. So from this stage, I put them in a food processor, a mini processor, because once they're dehydrated, the peel from three apples is not a whole lot. But I crush them up and put them in this jar, and I will use that for baking or sprinkling uh, oatmeal or, you know, whatever. They're very sweet and very tasty, so don't throw them away. Give it a try. Take good care, folks.